Hey everyone, as you can see it is very messy here. I really need to clean up. It is very full, mainly because I got a lot of promotional cleaning supplies for collaborations with companies. But I really want to get this organized again, so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to let this dry and in the meantime I will source through all of this.
this is how it looks like now remember how it was very messy and now it's just more clear where everything is over there in the back are the uh yeah what it's called the children use it to blow bubbles and here floor cleaner and all-purpose cleaner here are trash bags in different sizes the smaller ones are at the bottom there is a basket with gloves this is a spray bottle that my daughter uses when she cleans it's just some water and a drop of dish soap but then she feels like she is really really helping mommy you know <laughs> with her own spray bottle here is abrasive cleaner i use it for the sink for example uh, cleaning vinegar bathroom cleaner kitchen cleaner there is all things that i don't use often and also things like soap refills then here are all my sponges those are dishwasher tablets here i've got my osagal stain remover soap and then some buckets and some brushes over there from some products i had two packages so most of them i could put together in one package that saves a lot of space and then other bottles i have stored in a different place or i've given them to a friend and now i'm left with these two there was soap in it and i couldn't get it all out so i'm going to rinse it out with water and pour it in the toilet and use it to clean the toilet bowl and then here i found this i bought it a while ago and kind of forgot about it it is a natural air purifier and it smells like lavender and eucalyptus so i will give this a place in the house and hopefully it will give a nice scent it is from the brand attitude and it's made with activated carbon and it purifies the air by absorbing pollutants and eliminating odors it says it is not sponsored by the way i just found it at my local health food store and i was really curious to try it I'm going to wash the white curtains that are in the kitchen. They are quite stained, especially the one that is near the stovetop and the trash container. Here's the one on the other side. It's not that bad, but it has a few stains here and there. So they will both go in the washer. Next on my list is cleaning my dishwasher because it smells bad and actually it looks bad too.
first I'm going to see if there is any food in the sieve that I need to remove and then I will let the dishwasher run a program because I have this product it's dishwasher and washer cleaner it says to run a program and then after 25 minutes you pour the entire bottle in the dishwasher and then you just continue the program and this will clean the dishwasher so i've never tried that before uh it is a product that i got from the collab with fantastic they didn't sponsor this video but i just have it left over and i'm going to try it and after that i will see how much more i need to clean obviously still the outside edges and we'll see um, how the inside is after using the product. Here you see close up of the inside. Uh, this has um, a white film that is dirt, I guess. And yeah, it, it just looks really disgusting. The dishwasher program has been going for 25 minutes, so now it is time to add the detergent. I will add the entire bottle and then I will let the dishwasher continue its program. It will take a while before the dishwasher is done, so in the meantime, let's do some ironing. I don't iron very much anymore, just because it feels like a waste of time. And you know, time is so precious when you are a busy mom. But there are always some items of clothing that really need it, so I collected those. You saw the pile that was on my ironing board. I'm starting with my daughter's dress, and usually I would try my very best to get all the last creases out. But these days I try to not be such a perfectionist anymore. Anymore. and to some people this may still be very perfectionistic but to me this is the quick version <laughs> also because she wears it one day and I know after one day it will be covered in stains and then I'll have to wash it again so it's just not worth all the trouble to get every last detail ironed This type of t-shirt, it belongs to my husband, I usually don't iron it, but for some reason it ended up in my ironing pile, so why not? And then there's this orange one also for my husband, and it has these tricky sleeves that could really use some ironing too. So I'm ironing the orange t-shirt as well. Come a little closer, <laughs> then you can see it. Here you can see the sleeves in more detail.
So that was it for the ironing. Let's go downstairs and check on the dishwasher. The dishwasher is done and this is what it looks like now. It does smell very nice and the white film has almost disappeared. There's only a little bit left on the sieve, which I will clean with the sponge later. Now here, I don't know if you could tell, but near the bottom rubber, there was still some disgusting buildup. And I guess that is just outside the cleaning radius of the dishwasher. When the door is closed, that area doesn't get cleaned. So I'm going to clean it with paper towels and a cleaning rag. But first the sieve. It's evening now, it's 8 o'clock, and it's Tuesday, and it is finally ready. I just tasted it, and the taste is good. So I'm going to put it in these glass containers, so it can cool down, and then later this night it can go in the freezer. I do want to go to bed early, so I will try to be quick. My goal is to be in bed by 9, so we'll see if that works out. I'm also going to tidy up the kitchen a bit. There are a few last things that I need to do and then I'm going to clean the fridge.
The stew has been cooling long enough, ideally it would be longer, but it is now 8.50 so I'm just going to put it in the containers and then put it in the freezer. It is a stew made with bay leaf, mace, tomato puree and ketchup. Ketchup is a sweet soy sauce from Indonesia, I have no idea if you can buy it worldwide, I'm sure you can, but we call it ketchup here. As you can see, it was almost 9 when I was done with everything in the kitchen, so I went to bed really early. Funny thing is that I couldn't sleep, so <laughs> so in the end it wasn't really a long night of sleep, but anyway, I tried. We are at the end of the video, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!